All right, hey, dude, man. Um, Dooming, I'm so sorry, gosh, I hope one day I'll say that right. I totally apologize. I hate not getting names right. I feel like that's the least least I could do, right? But, um, well, it was just that American dialect or what that makes it harder for me to just say that. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, I apologize. <laughs> I'll try to do a better job. I know you've already said don't worry about it, but I do still try to want to say names right. Um, okay, so I just want to show you this real quick. And like I said, I don't want this to be, here's the way I look at golf and why I basically teach golf. Because I think this, like if you, if you, let's just take a golfer and they walk off the course, they just have no idea what they did wrong. They shot an 80 where they felt things were under control the day before. Now they shoot a 98 next day what are they saying i have no idea what it's doing how can i just so bad from one day to the next and to me that's asinine that that person's like that like how do they not know so you know one thing with me is this it's like if you know like if when you're by the time you're through this program or whatever you're gonna know your tendencies all of them are you gonna need to never see me again no but it won't be nearly as often, and it'll just be when something strange is happening that you can't figure it out. See, you have your tendencies that you're gonna always do, okay? It, it is what it is. Now, can you break those and get over them because you've done the other way enough times? Yes, you can. But it takes a while to break through some of those, right? So, but once you do, you're, you know, you're, you're off, you're sailing. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not like one day you wake up, and I think I probably said this to you before, like you have your golf swing, you know, yesterday when you played, and so you played really well, and you wake up, and then you have my golf swing the next day. We're like, hmm, how do I work with this? And <laughs> you don't, you have yours. And your movements are kind of in you, and it's just like you're going to be fighting those for a while. So here's my biggest thing I want to say about today, and I wanted to talk to you and say something. I thought about just calling you because I don't want you getting down about it here's the biggest key is I don't feel like you went backwards and I don't want my students going backwards. Okay. Like when they're in this program, I don't care if they get stuck at a spot like you. And the reason I say you don't go backwards is because I saw some progression today when we were doing the drill. Okay. And then I think a lot of this has to do with you have, you've started setting up wrong to, and that's caused problems. So the more you set up to the right, because you're hooking it, what are you going to do? You're going to swing more out to the right the more and more you do it. And I know it's just hard to do, but, you know, it, you have to start thinking of us not doing that. Um, how do I get as neutral of a swing as we can? Like, our, you know, eventually we'd want your swing being between a two and negative two um, path, okay? So... I want you to look at this. I think this is, you know, really understanding why this uh, app is really good. Um, yeah, I think it's going to kind of lead me a different way because I've been trying to use your head to fix your body, and it's not working, okay? Because you're you're struggling with it. Like, I pull my hand off. I'm not there. You, you don't do it. So my fault. I'm going to go another route. I'm going to go after the body and then hopefully that fixes the head. Okay. So, and I, you know, it will, I just, you know, that's how we're going to go about it. But I think this is going to be real highlighting to you or eye opening. I mean, maybe not a ton because, um, you already know these things. So we're not linked up exactly somehow. So I'm going to go to the top top you're purple on the left okay so i mean this 58 native 58 degrees um is a great number okay your pelvis weighs 0.3 inches your chest weighs 0.3 so you're stacked right on top of each other you're a little bit towards the target barely as neutral okay i i it's fine this guy's back pelvis of two one one and i don't i don't like his like at the top he should have re completely recentered. i think so I don't like this number for this guy. That's, that's 
really great. So, anyways. But, I think something's going to be interesting here for you to see. So, if we look at the lead knee sway, look at yours. Negative 0.8 inches. His is negative 3.9. Meaning it's come in quite a bit far, right? Quite a bit in, right? So has his trail knee. Okay. Now... This is where you're finding it interesting here. We're going to go to this. I'm going to get these guys to impact about here. To your impact. Okay, so here's what's interesting. Look at pelvis, 8-1 for you. Chest, 3-5. Lead, this is what I want you to notice here these big numbers, lead knee. But here's where I'm starting to think that we're going to go with this, is your trail knee. Look at that number. Um, let's see your mid-hand sweat. Yeah, that's going to be high. Forehead, yours moved 1.8 inches, inches here forward, and his is negative 1, so a difference of, what, 3 over a little difference over th than three inches total difference between you and okay and that's an impact um did you just see your chest is turned pelvis is 41 chest is 27 x okay so um flexion extension of your knee um okay so i hope this answers some questions for you um kind of like where we want to go and how we want to break this down you know remember a lot of things we do in our swing is a reaction okay so our body does a lot to react to what we do in our golf swing so but your body coming so much forward your your hands i've always told you they have to hit it off your back leg they just have to do it. And then here you see your reaction of your tilt. So let's see what they show here. Your sway is now t up to 10 inches, which is just massive. Lean knee, 6.4. Look at that trail knee, 10 inches more. And this is um, an average of the pros, the guy on the right. So they have, I think, 125 pros in the database. Um, and then this is the average numbers of them, and they get rid of, I think it's 10% on each side. You know, so you basically, you're kind of producing this bell curve, and then you get rid of the two bottoms on each side to kind of make it more, um, yeah, more whatever the word is I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, you know, we've tried to do stuff in the past with um putting something up against your leg and whatever and you know it's probably my fault that i haven't insisted on it we do it more and more and more you know every time um so yeah let's plan a meet on saturday and like i said just keep your head up like these things here, here's what you got. What you got to realize, okay, about your golf game. Like, you have a good golf swing, a really good golf swing, okay. You crush the ball, okay. You still have more distance to go. All right, like those things most people don't have, and can not get, okay. So you have two things. For sure, that most golfers can can't get and will never have. And we'll strive for all the time with your distance, okay? So you have this, this huge leg up on things. Now, I've always, I, I, mean, I would bet your struggles and your legs are, you're tall. I mean, I think it's, I think this game's very, very hard for tall players. I think it's hard for shorter players, but I think it's harder for big players because of those long legs you got. So we're going to short up that trail knee is what we're going to do to work on this and see how we do. 
okay? And um, we'll talk about that on Saturday, how to work on it. Because here's the thing. I want you tomorrow just sticking tightly to drills if you go to the range. Okay, one. I don't want you taking a full shot in between. Just drill. So just do the one we worked on. Go get your um, wrist cocked or set. Throw the club back to 8 o'clock. Getting rid of all of your... Um, all the um, extension you have in your wrist and then feel free to swing through okay and don't worry so much about how you hit it right it's going to be how you do the, do it so you, you should hit it okay do it anyways okay so I think that's good let me know if you have any questions but I just want you to stay positive and know that you're uh, you're on the right track you're going to have setbacks when you go through this program and when you go through golf but the good thing is your setback isn't putting your way back. It's going to get us to fix you quicker with something, okay? So they're usually view it just as a big eye-opener of like, hey, okay. And I think maybe you'll learn from this too of like, did you get off track with too many different things in your mind? I don't know. You know, trying to do this, trying to do that, or whatever, when, you know, the basics weren't fully met yet. So, and the basics just mean like, you know, your knee, like putting that something barrel outside to make you turn different. Um, so we'll figure it out and we'll talk about it, but, uh, let me know if you have questions, my friend. Thank you.